In this video, I'm going to show you how you can add a Facebook like box to your school publication site. The first thing that you want to do is log into your dashboard and head over to Appearance and then Widgets and figure out where you want that like box to be, what sidebar. I suggest putting it on a sidebar that is going to be seen on a lot of different pages. That way people are more likely to sort of see that box over and over again and eventually like your page. So we want to grab the text widget and title, let's call it follow or like us on Facebook. And we won't put anything in the text quite yet. The next thing we want to do is open another window and head over to the Facebook developer site. And I'm going to just do Facebook like box. I'll put the link here in the video. And we want to go to the like box page. This page that Facebook has put together is going to allow us to develop some or create some code to put the like box right on our page. So we don't need a plugin. A lot of people look for plugins to put Facebook like boxes and really I think they're more trouble than they're worth. Just go straight to Facebook and have Facebook give you the code. So we need the Facebook page URL. So I'm going to go to my Facebook and switch over to one of my pages. And then I want to grab that URL. I'm going to paste that into the URL and press tab to go down to the width. And uh, let me switch real quick. There we go. Now we get a preview of what our box is going to show. Now, the width and the height are editable. If you don't know what width and height you need, I would suggest going to your site and measuring. And in this case, I have sort of short sidebars. If you're on a Mac, you can press Command, Shift, and 4 all at once, and you'll get a little cropper tool. What this is going to do is take a screenshot, but it gives you a measurement. So I use it as kind of like the poor man's measuring tool. Um, there's other ways you can measure the objects on your page, but I think this one's nice and easy and, you know, simple. So I'm just going to draw a box around kind of where I want that Facebook like box to go and line it up with the sidebar that's already there. I'm using these lines between the categories as my uh, guide for how wide this should be. So I can see that my sidebar is 193 pixels by two, well, I can make the height whatever I want, but let's say I want the height to be like this, so about 300. So 193 by 300. So I'm going to go into my like box creator, change the width to 193, and then let's make it 300. Um, I do want to show faces. I don't want to show the stream. I prefer not to show the stream because I don't put a lot on Facebook. So if I have the stream, every time people look at my site, it looks like I'm not updating anything. So I'll just get rid of the stream. I don't want the border because I'm going to, I think I'm going to have a border. Actually, I don't think mine has a border. So I'm going to go ahead and do the border. And then do I want the header? Um, I went ahead and put like us on Facebook in my text box. So I'm going to Click that to know. So this is a preview of what I'm getting. And I can see that my little Facebook icon is cut off a little bit, so I'm going to change the height to like 305 so that it's not getting cut off. And now I need to click Get Code. I want to click on iframe and copy this code and then paste that into my text box. I want to save. And now when I refresh my page, I have a like box. Oh, I put it in the wrong one. Well, I have a like box on my page. Let me put that in the right one. Um, it must be right sidebar. So I'll just drag it down. There we go. So now I have that Facebook like box on my page, and I didn't have to use any plugins, and Facebook put the code together for me.